Well, I'd like to start my presentation with a quote from Carl Sagan, which is, science is a way of thinking much more than it is a body of knowledge. And I, I use this quote because I think it really captures the essence of the course that I'm proposing to offer to all of you, if you care to sign up for it, during the winter session. And I, I propose this as an idea. The course is entitled Instrumentation for Research. It's a biomaterials, materials project laboratory. And this quote captures this course in the following way. I think as a college student, you attend a lot of lectures and you get a lot of input, a lot of information handed to you, a lot of knowledge that you gain from going to classes. And you walk around campus with all this knowledge and wonder, what can I do with it? And that's what this course is all about. It's about not just having a body of knowledge, but beginning to think like a scientist, think like an engineer. And you can do that by working in the laboratory. So this is a course that is uh, aimed at concentrators in science and engineering, but is also open to concentrators outside of that. And I think it's something that will develop as I find out who is interested. In My name is Tejas Palmar, and I'm a professor of engineering and chemistry. And I'll be teaching this course where you are going to get hands-on experience in working with very sophisticated equipment that's used in doing scientific and engineering research. So the key objectives of this course is really to help you learn the scientific method. That is taking some of the knowledge you have and putting it in action. And it is really having ideas or aims in the interest that you have and formulating uh, a, a hypothesis to test. You, you observe something, you want to understand why that's occurring. You formulate a hypothesis, you develop a, a set of experiments, and you set out to do those experiments. And in that process, what you're doing is learning really the kinds of equipment that are and, and experimental techniques that are used in a research laboratory. So you learn the scientific method while at the same time gaining some lab experience. And this is helpful for those of you who are interested in, say, joining a research group during the summer and having a UTRA fellowship to pay for that. Or perhaps you want to apply for an internship during the summer at some company. And by having this background experience from the winter session, that just gives your application that much more strength. Hopefully, by the end of the course, you will have found your passion, what it is that you are interested in, and, and being able to pursue that, and, and helping you to find ways in which you can continue to pursue that, either within a faculty lab or outside uh, during the summer at, at, at companies. Um, so just to give you an example of uh, the kinds of projects, so uh, this is a biomaterials and materials project laboratory. Here's an example of a materials project. Let's say you're a materials engineering concentrator, and you're a sophomore, and you're interested in battery technology. In fact, you're, you're just curious about it. You want to know, like, how are batteries made? How, how do they work? And how does somebody decide what goes into a battery? So the project you might do would be to develop a method for synthesizing a material for a battery. And I, of course, would help you with some ideas, but you may come in with your own ideas. We would synthesize that material and, in the process, learn how to characterize it. And this is where the very high-end, sophisticated equipment comes in, where you'd get trained to use that. Once you know that you actually have the material that you aim to make, then you like to test it. Is it as good as something out there in a commercial battery? So we would teach you how to make or assemble a battery. And here's an example of a coin cell battery that's typically done with doing samples of different materials for battery technology. And then once you've made it, then you test it. And if you're lucky, of course, then, or if you're very smart, um, then you end up with a battery at the end or a set of batteries at the end of the course where you can you know, use them in your bike light and they're just as good as what you buy off the shelf at Radio Shack. Alternatively though, you may not be so smart or it may not work out so well and this gives you an opportunity to sort of learn that iterative process in research which is why does it not work? What can I do to change how this material is so that it will perform better? 
and develop that hypothesis, new design of experiments, and test it again. So that's an example of the materials project. Of course, this is a course that also should appeal to students who are interested in biology or biomedical engineering. And we would have a similar kind of biomaterials project that you could work on. Um, the way this course will work, it's got limited enrollment because it's a lab course. I can't have too many of you in there. Um, the registration, I think, will be talked about in a minute at courses at Brown. Um, that starts next week, beginning at 9 a.m. And um, we'll have a late registration in the event that the course doesn't fill up. It will give a chance for other people who might be still thinking about it. The course dates are January 3rd through 23rd. Um, we will also have sort of a project meeting early in December. Once I have a, a sense of who all is signed up, I want to meet with each one of you to go over your interests and the kinds of projects you might want to work on uh, so that we can prepare for the January winter session.